Alexander Dumas once quipped, Nothing succeeds like success. And this can be seen in the case of Rowdy Ronda Rousey, who's made the transition from MMA star to WWE superstar look easy. While the WWE is delighted to have Rousey as their headlining female star, there are some things they'd rather not bring up from the past. Here are 10 things the WWE would prefer the fans forget about Ronda Rousey. Are you ready? Hello wrestling fans, this is Van Venom, and if you're new to our channel, please remember to subscribe and put the notifications on so you don't miss any of our unbelievable videos. Number 10. Her UFC Beatdowns While Ronda Rousey legitimately earned her reputation as a fearsome MMA fighter due to her quick dispatches of opponents in UFC, Rousey was summarily dispatched by challenger Holly Holm during the seventh title defense of her UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship. A subsequent shot against Amanda Nunes on December 30, 2016 led to Rousey losing by TKO after just 48 seconds. Like Brock Lesnar, the WWE has spent considerable time and money building Rousey up as a legitimate badass, and like Lesnar, her later MMA days don't back this up. Number 9 her PG-13 behavior outside of the ring. To be fair, Rousey hasn't gone the way of some WWE superstars such as appearing in adult films, but she's had some racy photos taken that the family-friendly WWE would rather not have out in circulation. For example, Rousey appeared nude in a photo shoot for ESPN's The Body Issue, albeit with her naughty bits strategically obstructed by boxing gloves something likely to raise eyebrows at Titan Tower, not to mention have Vince McMahon scouring the web. She's also had some steamy photos in Sports Illustrated's swimsuit issue and magazines such as Maxim and Self. During an appearance on Jim Ross's Showtime program, she linked effective performances in the octagon with lots of lust and thrust beforehand, and on another occasion, she discussed whether or not to use lubricant during the four-legged foxtrot. Rousey's candid talk has led to other things WWE wishes never came to light, such as our next point. Number 8. Snappers Bit Creepy while some might bemoan Rousey's vocal opinions on cleaning the cobwebs with the womb broom, others admire her for speaking her mind on the very real issues that affect men and women, such as domestic abuse. In her memoir, My Fight, Your Fight, Rousey discussed a past relationship with an ex-boyfriend she nicknamed Snappers McCreepy, a man who took naked pictures of her without her permission. Needless to say, McCreepy got a professional beatdown delivered to him courtesy of his disgruntled ex-lover. A beatdown, while more than justified, might cause headaches for a company with a zero-tolerance policy for domestic abuse. Number 7. Her Personal Demons while the WWE is full of situations of wrestlers who have successfully battled personal demons, either before becoming WWE superstars or during their WWE careers, the company can still get skittish about mentioning a performer's past problems unless they decide to spin it in the company agenda. In Ronda Rousey's case, after the 2008 Olympics, she went through a rough patch where by one count, a daily mixture of vodka, pot, and Vicodin was on the menu for Rousey who struggled to deal with stress and emotional family issues that had haunted her for years. The Olympic medalist also purged and starved herself during her UFC run, as she faced constant pressure to maintain her fighting weight. Number 6. Her promos are pretty bad Although Ronda's improved by leaps and bounds in the ring, her promo work hasn't been anywhere near as good. It's difficult to put a finger on why she struggles with promos as she's made plenty of TV appearances and starred in several films. Nonetheless, Rousey continually botches her promos and was nothing less than flabbergasted when the fans booed her during the end of her babyface run. The WWE's heavily scripted promos don't help, and some analysts feel Rousey will get better on the stick now that she's playing a heel. Whatever the case, the WWE likely wishes they could redub her older promos. Number 5. Her phony on-screen friendship with Natalia Although Natalia is an underrated veteran performer, her on-screen friendship with Ronda Rousey served no purpose other than to have Rousey's opponents beat her up before upcoming matches against the baddest woman on the planet. Some fans felt Rousey's friendship with the daughter of the Hart Foundation icon Jim the Anvil Neidhart just wasn't plausible, and many were waiting for what seemed like an inevitable heel turn by Natalia. That never happened, and it made the on-screen pairing seem like a waste of both wrestlers' time. The fact it seemed to come out of nowhere also made it further puzzling for fans, but logical storylines have rarely been a priority in WWE. 
Number 4. The WWE has fed too many opponents to her. It's common for wrestlers who get a strong push to get a number of victories over established stars, but the WWE's push of Ronda Rousey has made little sense, with the company throwing her haphazardly into matches that have little build-up and often make no sense. For example, Rousey's recent Raw Women's Championship defense against Ruby Riot had little build-up, and while Riot isn't a curtain jerker, she's not the first person fans think of for a number one contender. Like Brock Lesnar, Rousey's monster push isn't going to do much if no one beats her and gets the rub, nor will it help the wrestlers who look like cannon fodder for her. In a perfect world, the WWE would have had a better plan for Rousey's path to the championship and the road to WrestleMania 35. Instead, they're probably hoping the fans didn't think too much about it. Number 3. The WWE Universe Forced Her To Turn Heel It should go without saying that Ronda Rousey would have turned heel at some point in her WWE career, but the WWE Universe's negative reaction to her forced the promotion to turn her heel long before they intended. Becky Lynch's heel turn got her so over that the WWE Universe began cheering her and booing babyface Ronda Rousey, a tricky situation for a company that still likes to have babyfaces battle heels rather than face versus face or heel versus heel bouts. Lynch's anti-hero act was just too cool for fans to boo her, harkening back to the early days of Stone Cold Steve Austin's heel run, where the fans fell in love with his take-no-prisoners approach to promos and grappling. Number 2. Her white-hot feud with Becky Lynch was largely by happenstance The WWE Universe is enjoying one of its hottest programs right now with the triple threat match between Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch looking to be the first time a women's match headlines WrestleMania. While Rousey has progressed in the ring, she owes the popularity of the program to Becky Lynch in an accident that sidelined Lynch from their scheduled match last November at Survivor Series. As you may recall, Lynch and Rousey were slated to appear in a SmackDown vs. Raw match, that is, until Nia Jax potatoed Lynch, sidelining the Irish last kicker and forcing the WWE to substitute Lynch with Charlotte Flair. By most accounts, the match would have seen Rousey go over Lynch, with the WWE proceeding to WrestleMania 35 for a Charlotte vs. Ronda battle which rumor has it was the plan ever since Rousey's appearance at WrestleMania 34. When Lynch returned to the ring, her act was more over than ever, and word has it that Vince McMahon decided to make the match a triple threat. Number 1. Rousey Could Leave the WWE in a Heartbeat Ask Ronda Rousey about her childhood, and it's clear that she adored the WWF growing up. Whether it was her getting a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy to throw down with, or listening to WWE Superstars theme music on her video game console, Rousey loved the WWF. This continued when she sought WWE legend Rowdy Roddy Piper's permission to adopt his nickname, and when she formed an MMA faction, the Four Horsewomen, in honor of wrestling's acclaimed heel supergroup. Despite her passion for wrestling, Rousey could leave the WWE, although she couldn't work for another wrestling promotion until her current WWE deal expires, and pursue any number of options, whether it's starting a family, returning to MMA, or continuing her acting career. Fans watching Rousey today could see her gone tomorrow, a fact which Vince McMahon must find upsetting and one he wishes he could make the fans ignore. With a bright future ahead of her, Ronda Rousey could easily join the WWE Hall of Fame, much as she's entered in the UFC Hall of Fame. Nevertheless, the image-conscious WWE would rather have certain things from Rousey's past kept secret, as well as certain unpleasant truths from the future, something that just won't happen due to the power of the internet. I'm Van Venom, and as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to put a like, subscribe, and leave your opinion in the comments below.